me on a scale of one to ten. Negative one. Why? I don't know. I feel like I've seen copycats of you every single place I go. Really? Yeah, unfortunately. So, am I ugly? Um, no, but you're unoriginal. I'm unoriginal? Yeah. My man. Hey, my man ain't no simp. He keeps it real. That's wild to call someone unoriginal. But it was the perfect description, I'm not gonna lie. $100,000 or uh, dinner with Jay-Z? $100,000. Why? I don't like Jay-Z. Why? He's a billionaire. <laughs> He's a billionaire. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I hate a man that know his worth. Like, why is the business that you're standing on so serious? Damn, Malcolm X. You you so fucking militant about this shit. I hate a motherfucker that got standards. Don't give no guy y'all phone to put their number in because this guy just cast up himself a thousand dollars with my sister money. This has to be some of the most low down deplorable diabolical shit i've seen in a minute a woman gives you her phone and you use that opportunity to send yourself a thousand dollars on cash app of her hard-earned money you got to do better than that kings with inflation a thousand dollars might as well just be 10 and you're worth more than that go ahead and send yourself two thousand dollars instead you got to understand your value king remember you are the prize go ahead and follow them. they toxic if a girl blocked you and you have no way to contact her you need to do this i really hope that the next thing that they're going to say is leave them alone let me preface this because I feel like a bunch of people are going to be like, this is going to get me a restraining order. It very well might. If you did something that is incredibly unhinged, like unforgivable, go on to the next. Move on. No, if they've blocked you, it's time to move on already. If you feel like something is still there and you want to get in touch with her, send her an email. Don't do that. Connect with her on LinkedIn. Don't do that either. Follow her on Spotify. Yet another terrible idea. Keep that visco. I'm just saying, if I blocked a man and he did any of these things, I would go back. That effort is unmatched. So like, if I blocked you, <laughs> hit me up. If that wasn't a reason not to listen to anything that they said, I don't know what else is. You know what she sounds like? She sounds like she's advocating for stalking and being creepy. And as soon as you do exactly what she's saying right here, She's gonna accuse you of being a stalker. Women like this should be avoided at all costs. If you go back to someone's house and they've got stained sheets, what do you do? I take it off, put it in the washing machine for them, ask them for <laughs> where their next, where they keep their washed fitted sheets, and then I put it on for them. Even if you just met them? I wouldn't be at the house if I just met them. <laughs> nice. If men can never be seen as victims, doesn't that actually make them the biggest victims? It actually does. That's crazy. I never thought of it like that. They are one of the biggest victims if you're honestly thinking about it. Why do people act like women are so empathetic if women don't have any empathy for men as victims? Because some women don't understand why men, some men can be like that. And uh, some women do have empathy, but some of them don't. They only have the empathy to the point where they want to feel something or they want to make them feel something to the point where, oh, I, okay, I made them feel good. Now I can get what I want out of it. A, a lot of women are manipulative, and I'm not just going to say as women. A lot of people are manipulative, but um, I think there are a lot of evil people that, that like to do uh, false victimize themselves for attention or money or whatever the case may be. But with men... We don't, we don't really speak up as, as much as we should when we're, when we're victimized, so. I'm black American, married to Filipina. Of course I love Chinese food. <laughs> Price is right. <laughs> what you say? Why Chinese? I said you're beautiful. Are y'all Barbie girls or black girls? Barbecue. Weekend I found out that people with ADD and ADHD don't miss people. Okay. 
So most people in the comments are saying she's like this because she's depressed. Bro, this is not depression. This is pure laziness and madness with a flavor of stupidity. Like who in the world does this? Listen, I'm not excluding anyone here, men or women. If you don't clean up behind yourself, you're just nasty and entitled. And at this point, it became blatant disrespect in my opinion. Jesus, what? 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 Bro, chill. Stop. Where did you get the hickey from? Nothing, nowhere. Okay, but you would be so pissed if I showed up with a hickey. What? What? Am I, I laughing? I have no excuse. I, I just want you to when? know. When? When did this even happen? I don't think it's actually a hickey. It if, looks like a fucking hickey. You know what I think And happened? that's what Sarah said. I heard no, her yell at Can I be with you? I, I'm on the same page. I would be upset too. But I woke, I woke up this morning and I was like, there's no way. Like, nothing happened. So I, I think I might have slept on it wrong. I'm I really close to going crazy on you. We're on vacation. I can't tell if you're actually mad or not. Really Why crazy. would I not be mad? I really can't tell. I'm mad because if I did that, you would be pissed. You'd probably tell me to get the fuck out. I can't tell if you're like trolling. Did you fuck a girl at the house? I didn't or... fuck anyone. I didn't fuck anyone. But you had someone sucking on your neck? No one sucked on my neck. Then why do you have a hickey? Diego, back me up here. You invited him out here. He's not going to be on my side. That's my guy. <laughs> oh, he's terrified. For five dollars, what's the most common eye color? Brown. <laughs> In jeans? Ain't nobody worried about eye color, girl. You know what the fuck you're doing with all that fucking yams back. Listen, I don't know about y'all, but I'm just so tired of being a strong, independent man. I just want a woman to come into my life and just take all the weight off my shoulders. I can't do this alone. I'm tired of being a strong, independent man. I'm tired of it. Like, I just want to be at home, cook and clean, and then when my woman gets off of work, I can just give her her meal, and she can just lay down while I rub her feet. I just want to be her housekeeper. I don't want to go to work anymore. I'm tired of working these 50, 60-hour weeks, and I'm paying all my own bills. I'm, I'm just so tired. I'm tired. I can't handle it anymore. I can't. I just really can't do it anymore. So I'm looking for my queen, my hardworking queen, because I, I'm tired. I just want to be in my in my natural. I want to be in my natural environment. Bro, these comments on this video are fucking hilarious. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Here you go, king. The right man will find you, sis. She got to make 500K at minimum. Don't cook her clean unless they put a ring on you, king. A strong household has two incomes. Make sure she has two jobs. What are you doing, bro? chicken for you. That's not how you make chicken, bro. Yes, it is. You're supposed to put flour on it. That's you, not chicken, bro. That's dumb? greasy meat. Are you dumb? Everybody knows you do that afterwards. What? No, you, you don't. You teach me how to make chicken? This is not chicken, bro. You're making greasy yes, meat. it is. There's literally no flour. It's going to be so good. What you trying to say? You're not Come on, just pack, get your stuff. We're going. Eat it. We're going to Taco Bell. They got that $5 box. I but, asked you if we can go to Taco Bell. You said make me some chicken. Well, now I know I should have chose Taco Bell. If you're rejected, accept it. If you're unloved, let go. If they choose someone or something over you, move on. Not everyone you love will stay. Not everyone you trust will be loyal. I don't care about losing people who don't want to be in my life anymore. I've lost people who meant the world to me, and I'm still doing just fine. Do not follow the majority. Follow the right way. You can feel it when someone is not being real with you. Energy never lies. Always speak how you feel and never be sorry for being real.
course women will expect you to pay for dates but if she acts ungrateful when you do it that's your red flag should not go on another date with that woman again most men would be fine paying for dates if it is a reasonable price but i always say this don't let any woman use you as a wallet for free meals